Schedule 2 is another form that was birthed in the postcard era of tax back in 2018. This is where you'll input any taxes you owe in addition to your ordinary income taxes. So if you're self-employed, you'll have this schedule included in your tax return every year because this is where your self-employment tax amount will show up. Now, there's no major difference between part one, tax, and part two, other taxes. The only difference is where the amounts show up on form 1040. <sighs> I love my job. So starting at the top with the alternative minimum tax. This is sometimes called the AMT, and this places a floor on the percentage of taxes that a filer must pay to the government, no matter how many credits or deductions they claim. The AMT uses a separate set of rules to calculate taxable income after allowed deductions. Certain deductions are added back to the taxpayer's income. So if your income is above a certain threshold, you might end up with an amount of AMT that you owe based on your recalculated AMT earnings above the exemption amounts based on your filing status. But you don't need to know anything further beyond that. The next line is only used if you have to repay some of the subsidies that you receive from your health insurance through healthcare.gov. If you pay too little in health insurance based on your AGI, you might have to pay some of the subsidies that you received back to the government. The sum of those lines goes on line 17 of form 1040, your individual income tax return. Self-employment taxes are next. The calculation will be done on Schedule SE, but the net amount is reported on Schedule 2, line 4. Then any unreported Social Security and Medicare taxes that you want to pay in, any additional taxes on IRA distributions, any household employment taxes if you have household employees but haven't paid in your share of the Social Security and Medicare taxes. If you're still paying back your first time homebuyer's credit, that goes here. And lastly, Form 8960, the net investment tax, and Form 8959, the additional Medicare tax forms. Both get completed on their own forms and get summarized on line eight of Schedule Two. Once you have the total of all those other taxes, you'll input them on line 23 of Form 1040.